Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy way to create a sticky toggle menu system like this. A great use case would be a restaurant that has a menu system and you're having people scan, let's say, a QR code. As you know, most restaurants now have a QR code that they want their customers to scan. Well, in my experience, most restaurants just make you download a really large PDF and it's not easy to navigate that PDF. So I came up with this really user-friendly way to display a menu system. Now, the good thing is I'm going to be using just the Elementor toggle system with just one line of CSS to pull this off. So let's just jump into the back end. Here we are on the back end of that Elementor page. And as you can see, it's a very simple page with uh, one section at a width of 800 pixels. Um, that's because I wanted this to make sure it looks good on mobile, uh, but it also functions correctly on tablet and desktop. So I'm keeping it a little more narrow than I normally would. And as you can see, it's really simple. We just got an image, a header, and then this right here is the toggle system. So within here, I just have the three main toggle items, drinks, food, and desserts. And I am using Elementor Pro and I'm using their uh, short codes right here to pull in this uh, look right here using the pricing widget. So let me jump over into my templates right here and show you how I have all that set up. So if you go underneath, I have a drinks price list, which is the very first one. And then the food one, I have another uh, short code I'm going to drop in and another one. I just figured this is probably a little bit easier than trying to make this format and look good within this little editor right here. It's, you could do it. Uh, so if you are using the free version of Elementor, you can pull this off. Uh, it just takes a lot more, you know, going back and forth with HTML code or formatting. It's a lot easier to just do a template. So if I go into the drinks template, you'll see it's really simple. I just have the one section and this widget right here called the price list. Very simple, you just put in the price, the title, this is all just you know dummy text in my image right here. Um, so that's it, I, all I did was just create three of those and then just take the short code from there and put it in. Uh, one thing I do recommend, anytime that you are implementing a short code you know, for a template and you're gonna input it into another one, remove all of the padding and margins as much as you can in the template files. So if you see right here for the column, I have everything zeroed out. This is just gonna get any sort of weird padding, you know, when you input it, and then you can control it on this page instead. So that's what I recommend. So like I said, you're just gonna take the short code, and if you aren't quite sure how to get the short code, you just go back into your templates. Once you save them all out, this is where you're gonna uh, copy and paste these short codes. So you just create, in this case, I just have the three of them. So these are three different short codes. So after you create all those templates, you just, uh, like I said, just paste in those short codes right here. So these are all unique short codes. And that's really all you're gonna have to do. Everything else is just gonna be styling and CSS. So if you want it to look, you know, just simple like this, you could do all of this type of functionality or design within here under title. I just changed the background color. You know, there's not a lot of options in here, so I will add a little more CSS code if you wanted to make it look like the example I had. So now let's get to the fun part where we're gonna add the CSS code. So underneath advanced, if you just paste in the code right here, you're gonna notice that when you scroll down, it should stay sticky. So you're gonna see right here, it stays sticky to the top. And as you can see, the code is very simple. I just have position is sticky. I did a top of negative one pixel. Um, this is where you can do an offset. I noticed that when I didn't have that negative one pixel, there was a lit one pixel gap at the top. So I like to make sure everything's kind of pixel perfect. So you can play around with this and do zero pixels, or if you need to like, let's say you offset it because you had a menu up there. As you can see, you could you know, offset it by 10 pixels, but I found in my use case, negative one pixel was perfect. And then you're gonna wanna make sure your Z index is at the highest number because this template right here needs to go underneath. So when you start to slide down, if you take the Z index off, you're gonna notice that it goes right over it. So as you can see, you don't want that type of functionality where the text is going over it. So you need to tell it in CSS to you know be at the top. And that's all you have to do. Uh, once you just add that one time, it's gonna do that for all of the uh, different headers right here. So as you can see, that one little line of CSS uh, pulls that off. And like I said, if you wanna have a little more control over your styling for these headers, you can just paste in a code like this and as you can see, it's very simple. It's just display block. I want to center the text, add padding around it, and then just this border, this white border right here, just so it kind of stands out a little bit more. I kind of like the way that looks. So as you can see, it stays sticky, and that's all you're going to have to do. 
It's a really simple way to make sure that your toggles will always stay sticky. And that's it for this Elementor tutorial. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.